What is going on everybody? James Bly Tech coming here. I want to give you guys my review of the Amazon Echo Buds. Now these are a great pair of earbud wireless earbuds. I just picked these up for about $90. They usually retail for $130, but I feel $90. Bucks. These are actually a steal. Now the build quality I will say is actually really good. Um, that's one of the things I do like about I like the matte black look. You, they kind of go back and forth between a matte black and a glossy design. As you can see here, the case is all matte black but the logo itself for Amazon is actually glo uh, glossy, which is actually a pretty cool design. I like that. And you'll see that it does translate to the earbuds as well, where they do have a matte black slash glossy kind of look as well. Uh, but to give you kind of an idea of the size difference, now granted, this is not the biggest case I've seen for wireless earbuds, but it definitely isn't the smallest either. Uh, side by side, as you can see here, here's the first gen AirPods, and here's the Amazon Echo Buds. As you can see, there's a massive difference. I could pretty much fit the entire case within the Amazon Echo Bud case. So it's definitely a big size case, but like I said before, not necessarily the biggest case I've seen when it comes to wireless earbuds, but this is still pocketable. You can still fit this in your pocket um, just as you would with your AirPods. Now pairing these is actually is very simple. All you have to do is open up your Echo Buds and then it'll put it into pairing mode. Once it's in pairing mode, you'll see a notification on your phone within the Alexa app pop up. I like to just follow the multi-step process into pairing these. Now it does come with the large rubber ear tips here put on. Now it does come with small, medium, and large uh, ear tips. And they do actually have a feature within the Alexa app where you can actually test out each ear tip and find out which one is the best fit for you and which gives you the best seal. Now the battery life on these earbuds are no joke. You get five hours of battery life with the earbuds when they're fully charged. A 20 hour additional battery life with the case when that's fully charged, so you have to just pop it back in and charge it. You get 20 additional hours for 25 hours total. And if your earbuds are completely dead and you need a quick kind of like, hey, I need, I gotta go, I need a quick little charge, 15 minutes gives you two hours of playback time on these. That is insane. Only for 15 minutes just in the case, you're good to go. And you got two hours right there which is insane, honestly. I think that is an amazing feature. I'm glad that Amazon included that. Now, for the things I don't really care for about this is, unfortunately, it uses micro USB. I'm not a massive fan of micro USB. I wish that Amazon used uh, USB-C. And this is not Qi wireless compatible as well. So you can't wirelessly charge this. So the only way you're gonna be able to charge this is by using that micro USB uh, port there on the side. The clamshell design, I'm not also a big fan of either. I do kind of like this kind of design of the AirPods, where it's just kind of the top lid right there. And the clasp is not also held down by magnets the same way you'll see other uh, wireless earbuds. It has a spring here in the back where the hinge is. And while well, granted this case is all plastic, a complete plastic design similar to the Skull Candy Indies like I reviewed before, it doesn't feel as cheap as the Skull Candy Indies. This definitely feels like it has better build quality to it. It doesn't feel like I'm going to break it as easy as I did with the Skull Candies. Um, but it's not, it's a pretty decent build quality. Not the best build quality I've seen, but definitely far from being the worst. One thing they don't tell you is that here on the button, it has two functionalities. You can actually press it once to see the battery life here on the front with the, the little light indicator. And if you hold it down long enough, actually it'll put it into pairing mode. So if you just wanna pair these with another device and not use the Alexa app and just pair these like a wireless Bluetooth earbud, then you could just do that as well by pressing down and holding the uh, that little button on the bottom. Now the two features that blew me out of the water that I thought were being kind of gimmicky was actually the first one is the Bose Active Noise Reduction feature on this. Uh, it was actually pretty awesome. And the fact that you could be able to have Alexa on the go. The fact that I could just basically have the earbuds in my ears, I could be out walking around, and I could just activate Alexa anywhere I am because it would just basically be going off my phone's cellular network as opposed to going off the home Wi-Fi. And that's the other thing too, is I did not find that the transition from going off my home Wi-Fi to my cellular network was any kind of issue whatsoever. It worked pretty seamlessly. There was no kind of issue with Alexa going from the Wi-Fi to LTE. But see with Alexa, I kind of already knew what I was gonna be getting with that because I already have some Echo devices at my house. So I pretty much already have experience working with Alexa. But the one thing I did not have experience with was the Bose Active Noise Reduction. Now, the Active Noise Reduction is basically noise canceling. The only reason they can't call it Active Noise Canceling is only because for trademark reasons. And so it's just best to call it Active Noise Reduction. But it is insane. I've actually used these uh, earbuds while vacuuming, while just kind of in a noisy environment. And it's crazy how it goes from being able to hear your environment to just basically hearing next to nothing. And it's amazing. And I've actually, even with the pass-through mode, the pass-through mode works just as well because it allows you to basically hear your environment around you. It basically amplifies your environment. 
so you can actually hear it. So you can be listening to your music, listening to your podcast, whatever you're doing, and basically hear, be able to hear your environment with my AirPods. Now, granted, these do not have a seal of any kind, and you cannot, and it's not meant to create that kind of seal. But I find it is kind of harder for me to hear people when I have them in my ear, so I usually don't have to take them out. With these, uh, that was not the case. I can actually pause my music and actually have a full conversation with somebody while having these in my ear, which is actually a great feature. Um, I thought that was pretty much a selling point for me. Now, at $130, I would say, look, eh, it's okay. It's it's a decent pair. But at 90 bucks, I think this is definitely a steal. That is a must-buy. And if you're a Prime member on Amazon, you can actually either pay the full 90 right out the gate, or you can actually do a payment plan over five months and just kind of pay them off a small payment plan. Now, the thing to me, the thing that bugs me the most about these, and I will say, is the ear tips. Now, I'm not a fan of the ear in design. I do prefer the kind of the design of the Apple AirPods where they kind of just rest in your ear. But the in-ear design does take some getting used to. These aren't nearly as bad as the Skull Candy Indies, but definitely it feels like my ear is being stretched out, unfortunately, when I'm wearing these. Uh, it's just very uncomfortable. It does take some getting used to. There are some times where it doesn't bother me as bad, but it, it just definitely, I'm not a big fan of the design. The smaller ear tips um, don't fit my ears all that well. They fall out. I feel like I'm constantly having to adjust the right one. Uh, the left one fits in perfectly fine, but the right one I'm constantly having to adjust because it keeps on sliding out or things like that though. But once I get these in there, uh, they're in there pretty good for a good while. Um, but I do prefer the design of the Apple AirPods. They kind of just rest in your ear. You don't really feel that, have that kind of feeling. Uh, like I said before, my Skull Candy Indie review. Uh, but overall, there are very few complaints I have about these earbuds. So right now I'm going to do a sound comparison between the Amazon Echo Buds and the Apple AirPods and just kind of see how they compare and just see if these are actually even a decent upgrade if you're looking to upgrade from your Apple AirPods. So first, I'm going to start off with my AirPods. I'm going to probably play some, because I heard that these actually do get some good bass on them. So I'm going to actually play a, a pretty bass heavy song and just kind of see how it sounds. Now, the very first thing I noticed immediately from the Amazon Echo Buds versus the first generation Apple AirPods is that these definitely have a lot more bass to them and the music sound a lot more full. And having that seal from the rubber tips actually definitely made the sound a lot more uh, isolated. Where these ones, you get a little bit more, they, they're not bad, don't get me wrong. These are not bad by any means when it comes to sound quality. These are just better, in my personal opinion. So as far as the sound goes, that, these definitely went on that department. Now, the one thing I will say, the one feature I wish that these did have, that this does have, and now not everybody will probably be even using this feature, but is the ability to actually use uh, find, the Find My app on your Apple device. Uh, because I've lost these AirPods countless times and I had to use the Find My feature to actually find these. Uh, knowing that I'm the kind of person that actually loses things a lot, it's kind of a bummer knowing that uh, I cannot use a feature like that to find the Amazon Echo Buds if I was to lose them, if I was to lose them. It's either a find them or I don't. I can't use a device to kind of, I can't use my phone or anything like that to play a sound to help me find them or I can even like locate them on my GPS app or anything like that though. It's pretty much once they're lost, they're lost unless you come across them accidentally. So that's kind of a feature I do like about the Apple AirPods. But all in all, as far as the earbud and the sound, as far as the sound quality goes, these definitely take the kick. These are definitely really cool. Um, you can actually adjust the, the mids, the highs, the bass, you could adjust all that within the Alexa settings. You can do that with the AirPod Pros, you just cannot do that with the first generation ones. Uh, but we can do that with these. Now I wanna say another thing I do love about these uh, Amazon Echo Buds is the fact they do have three microphones in it, which allows it to easily hear you in almost any kind of an environment, no matter how noisy it is. So I was able to actually summon Alexa in some pretty noisy environments without any issue whatsoever. Um, now, when it comes to voice assistance while using the Echo Buds, definitely, activating Alexa on this was much easier than using uh, Siri on it. Uh, I don't know because they say you can actually basically tap tap and hold to activate your phone's voice assistant. I tried it. I had a hard time kind of activating Siri with it, but having Alexa on it was pretty much a no-brainer. I would end up using Alexa more than I would use Siri anyway. I've always kind of felt that if Apple was to cut a deal with Amazon and actually allow their Alexa voice system to be on their phones, they would have a killer phone on their hand. Like not to say Apple doesn't already have a killer phone on their hand, but let's just admit it, 
Siri is not the best voice assistant out there. Alexa, in my personal opinion, takes the cake and is actually one of the best voice assistants to have on any device. And if you were to put that into a phone, that would be amazing in my personal opinion. The dual drivers in these earbuds, I feel deliver some amazing sound. It is really awesome. These are definitely a must buy if you look if you don't have any wireless earbuds, I definitely think these are a must buy is a great deal at only 90 bucks. If you are someone who is actually looking to upgrade from your Apple AirPods but doesn't really care to pay 250 bucks for the AirPod Pros, these are a good middle of the road option. I feel they have some they do while they are missing some features that the AirPods have such as the wireless charging case or the ability to use the Find My feature from your uh, phone or your computer. Uh, they do actually have some better features as well. Like I said, the noise isolation, the post active noise reduction, and being able to have Alexa on hand definitely make up, I feel, for the other things it's lacking in. Uh, and as long as you don't mind the in-ear design, these are a good pickup. And I will leave an affiliate link down in the description below. So if you guys want to pick up the Amazon Echo Buds, you guys can pick these up. Uh, if you guys want to hit me up on Patreon and Twitter, I will leave a link down in the description below as well. If you guys like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And as always, I'll catch you guys next time.